Hi, this is Greg Koopman, and in this lesson we're going to talk about how to sort a table randomly each time. Um, so let's go to an example and make this real simple. The reason why I actually created this video is because this is not very intuitive, and if you don't find it uh, online somewhere, you try to do something a lot harder than what you really need. Uh, it's a very simple technique, and uh, let's take a look at it. So. Basically, let's take a look at the customer table in EventureWorks DW 2012. I'm just going to do a select, and I did a very abbreviated number of columns, concatenated the first name, middle name, and last name, kept the customer key. So here we go. We got John V. Yang, Eugene Huang, uh, Ruben Torres, Christy Zhu, uh, Elizabeth Johnson, okay, etc., etc. There's 18,484 rows. Okay, now let's pretend that these are all these names were put into a raffle. Um, so, anyways, and you're going to raffle off a prize. So, how can we do this and let the computer do it by itself? We can't. We have to be unbiased. Each time we run it, we want it to randomly choose the order. Okay, and the best way to do this is to use this area, this uh, function called new ID. New ID creates a GUID, a unique identifier. Theoretically, every GUID that's created from New ID should be uh, unique across the world. Okay, because I think it takes like a MAC address, the time on your computer, uh, and all these different areas, but it's supposed to be unique every time you run it. So if we run this, and let's just, right now, this is not an order by anything. What I want to say is that. When you run a select without an order by, it comes back with a number of rows. In a, and it seems like they're ordered, but they're not really ordered. Not supposed to be ordered. Uh, but if you run it over and over, it seems to come back in some sort of the same sequence. And we don't want that. We definitely don't want that. Because even though it's not theoretically supposed to be ordered by database theory it has some sort of a way it's bringing back the data that's fairly consistent even though it's not ordered by anything and we can't have that in a raffle we have to make sure it randomizes it each time it reshuffles a deck so that's what this new ID will do for us okay so Let's just run this with the order, the same query, but we're going to add the order by new ID here. And now, as you see, our customer keys, 16, 4, 33, 26. Okay, so it looks like they're pretty random. Uh, but Dom Dominguez, Shen, Williams, Foster, Lopez, right? Those are the top five there. Let's run it again. Now we got Chen, Pell, Roberts, Alexander, Davis. Let's run it again. Russell Bell, Bendex, Gonzalez, Campbell. Okay, as you see, every time you run this, it's like it's like a new uh, shuffle of all the cards, and you're getting a, a new order, and that's exactly what it's doing. Under the covers, it's assigning each one of these guys a GUID, and uh, then it sorts it by it, and that's how it works. So, it's so simple. Um, you know, it, a good example is like I said, a raffle where you have all these names, and you just want to pick the top one or two or three and you can just uh, and and you want to make sure it's random and fair you just go ahead and use this technique uh, if you want to see the new id there's a way we can do it a little differently and that's in this command where we say i'll cast a new id to var cart 100 because when you sort uh the the unique identifier i'm not really sure how it's sorting but it doesn't sort the alphanumeric style like you'd expect so I did. I, I created this uh, new idea here, and uh, assigned it to the column name ID. Then I ordered it by ID. Okay. So let's just see how that looks. So again, it's going to give us the same kind of results. There's your GUID, right? The the hidden GUID that was on the one before, but here it is now. And so if you look at it, there's zeros lining up here. As you go down, there'll be ones, right? Then twos, right? Then uh, threes, etc. Five, six, seven, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. Okay, so that's what this is doing. Um, and they, then again, it's the same concept. So if you really want to see the GUID, you can go ahead and put it. Use this style. 
if you don't care to see it and just want to see the sort that you do with that side. So let's just run a couple of these and look at the top five results. So there's Gray, Gomez, Raymond, uh, Murphy, and Collins. Lou Cook, Rodriguez, Bryant, Chen, Bell. So as you can see, this is a very powerful technique. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.